Our website shows several hundred homes still don't have power in Conyers. And that's why the Red Cross is now helping the county with a shelter at the First Methodist Church on Main Street. And that's where we find Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery, live tonight. Madeline, you've been out there for hours now. Have you seen many people out there? There's really only a handful of people who are actually taking advantage and inside of here now, but volunteers tell me that they want to be staying here, making sure anyone who needs a warm place to be or a hot meal can take advantage after all of the damage. It was really crazy, really never experienced anything like this. An EF2 tornado throwing trees across homes and power lines in Rockdale County, displacing families and leaving them in the dark. In our street, there's three or four trees in houses and smashing through the houses. Despite the mess in his own yard, Mike Yoder and his church, Conyers First Methodist, wanted to help out. And we uh, feel that we need to be here to serve the people of Conyers. They opened their doors to the Red Cross to use the church as a shelter to anyone displaced by the storm. We're getting those folks that have da significant damage to their homes, but there are also a lot of people that are without any power, and it's supposed to get a little chilly tonight. Uh, so we're expecting some people just to come in here to keep warm. The Red Cross started prepping before the wind even began to blow. 48 hours before it hit us, we were we were already prepared to open up shelters if need be. They have cots and food for the people of Rockdale County. We're usually second responders and we're there for the community and we're here for these folks right now. The shelter will stay open as long as people need it. Reporting live here in Conyers, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.